The largest mystery from Egyptian sages. Now what could this be? It involves the unfinished obelisk, finished. It involves the mysterious staircase, demystified. Okay, so notice I didn't say the best or the most amazing, but it is the largest, okay? So what am I talking about? The Great Pyramid? Because with the Eiffel Tower, it's the most visited monument in the world, partly because it's so big. They chose to make it big to add to its attractive power. So that would lead more people to study it, and the amazing revelations would come out of the Great Pyramid. No, there's possibly something bigger, though. Bigger, much, much bigger. Well, it, could it be the Orion constellation? You know, they believed as above, so below. So they put some pyramids down in Egypt that uh, basically followed the pattern of the stars in the constellation Orion. So, of course, they put south on the top, so that's why Orion's upside down. He wrote a book about this. So maybe look at how big that is in Egyptian soil. But when you look at it on the whole of Egypt, it's not really that big. So it's not the Great Pyramid. It's not Orion. What is this largest mystery that the sages put in Egypt? Well, let's look at the unfinished obelisk, okay? So is it really unfinished? Maybe it's got some kind of message or a sign for us. That's me working on the top of it, even though that's supposedly illegal. Uh, I got permission to take some measurements up there. Now, normally this is what's on an obelisk, all kinds of hieroglyphics, but look what's on top of this pillar. This obelisk obviously has got some different kind of markings, so I wanted to study them to see what's there. Now, first, I made a discovery in October of 2022. So one of my tourists, Brandon, came early. He said he wanted to do some stuff with me. So I said, okay, let's go out to the Khafre uh, Temple uh, Plateau near the Khafre Pyramid and pick out a mark, and we'll measure it, because I've often found these things are meaningful. So we picked this mark right here. And so I said, Brandon, give it a name. you got to give something a name to work with it. So he called it the pill. It sort of looks like a pill. So we started measuring the pill. Okay, this is where the pill is. You can see the Khufu Pyramid, the Khafre Pyramid, and there's the mortuary temple next to Khafre, and you can see where the pill is. Okay, so the pill is in a temple built with granite. This is a granite area. So we put our tools on the pill and found it pointed directly to the Aswan Quarry where the unfinished obelisk is and where the granite comes from for this temple. Unbelievable. Then pill is short for pillar and obelisk is a pillar. We named it the pill before we knew it was going to point to the pillars that come from Aswan. Really amazing. So uh, here we go. There it is. There's the pill. There's what we measured. And when you put that, look at that, all the way down, hundreds of miles away, it points to the unfinished obelisk in the S1 quarry. Now, is it possible the granite could point back to where it was going? Okay, because so, because we well we see that the granite where it came from. But is it possible that something in the quarry could point back to where it was going? Seems unlikely, but let's look at this. This is a map that I took from an academic study about the granite quarries at Aswan. Okay, so uh, let's draw a line through the unfinished obelisk. So you can see right there, that's where the unfinished obelisk is. It looks like that. Okay, so let's draw a line right through that. All right, there we go. Now, in the red there, we've got the line of canals that was used to transport the stone to the Nile. That's what this article was about. So you just draw a line right through those uh, canals. Okay, and then a fence line is often, uh, you know, an ancient boundary marker related to an ancient boundary. So let's just draw it through the fence line. Okay, there we go. So let's show how those lines form the exact elevation of the Great Pyramid. This is unbelievable. There's a replica of the eastern elevation view of the Great Pyramid. And look at this. Bingo! They're telling us where this granite was going to go. It's going to go to the Great Pyramid. Okay, we got this granite to the pyramids. Amazing. And, uh, of course... Uh, you know, there is the, the line of pointing there, the place of the granite stone, the Khafre Mortuary Temple, and the Great Pyramid King's Chamber. That's where it was used, okay, from the quarry. And then it went was used for the granite stones inside the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid. Wow. Okay, so here's the obelisk. What's your message? All right, so there I am taking some measurements there. You can see I'm working, trying to figure out what's going on here. All right, there's uh, some of the measurements I took. What did I learn from these markings? Okay, one of the boldest markings on the unfinished obelisk points to the mysterious desert staircase. 
Unbelievable. Now look at those marks. They're very distinct, okay? Now there's one that stands out though. That bold mark right there, okay? That's the one that points right to the mysterious staircase. There it is on my drawing right there. That points right there. Now here's a close-up on Google Earth, actually Google Earth Pro. You can see the unfinished obelisk. There's that pointing right there, all right? So that points right to the mysterious staircase. Unbelievable, from the unfinished obelisk pointing right to the mysterious staircase. Whoa. Okay. Now here's an aerial shot of the staircase from Google Earth. Okay. So uh, every time I've been to the staircase, it's truly scary. Perhaps because I've gone alone. But alone or not, it has this overwhelming sense of awesome mystery. See if you can get a little bit of a feel for this as I'm walking alone, nervous that I could be, you know, in a place I shouldn't be. You know, someone's going to catch me. I could fall into this hole. You know, it, it's scary. You see this big, this big empty, you know, pit there, and I'm walking by it. I'm afraid to look down. I'm staying away from it, as you can see. But I want to get down to the high end where the stairs come up, and so here I am. All right. So again, this is totally scary. I mean, by myself in the desert, you know, going down here. It's it's like it's exciting, but it's also kind of nerve-wracking. It's a great mystery. I'm going to be taking a small group of people with me in an Indiana Jones type adventure in March here. Contact me if you'd like to be in the party. So people always complain about the, you know, the, the garbage that's in there. I just look past the garbage. The wind blows in the desert, wind blows down there. I think sometimes young people come out here and party. They, they drive out and, and walk out into the desert. So, you know, I can't fully explain the garbage. Again, the wind blows things in, and I know it's been worse in the past, so they actually clean this out from time to time. But uh, I'm going down, and of course, some people say this was a Roman well, but this is not a Roman well. This is not the way Roman wells worked. It's possible they could have had as one of the purposes water, but, uh, you know, that, that's yet to be seen. So, you know, I, I'm stopping, looking up, I'm going to look back from where I came from. Here I am alone. You know, I heard some sounds in the back. I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I want to get back to that far wall there and see if it goes, you know, to the left or to the right. So I start walking, and boy, I stepped. It was a huge drop. I got all wet. I knew I, I, I could hear voices. I knew somebody was coming like a watchman. I couldn't afford to, 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 to fall down and go in deeper and just totally, you know, sink or whatever. So... I turn back. You can get some sense of this awesome, mysterious staircase. Okay, so the obelisk pointed us to the mysterious staircase. All right? We've seen that. The unfinished obelisk points to this mysterious staircase. Now, to what does the mysterious staircase point? The mystery deepens. So there it is. Why is it at that angle? Because north is up in this picture. Why is it at that angle? Right there. Okay? Where does it point? Maybe it points up there, but no, it doesn't because that's not the direction the stairs go. The stairs go that way. From the top, you know, that's the bottom of the stairs, and so that is the way this thing points, okay? The staircase is at a 62-degree angle. Why? All right, here's a map of Egypt. You can see the borders. There's the western border right there. There's, uh, you know, the southern border there. Now, there's, so you've got Sudan and Libya, all right? All right, this is where it points. It goes across the whole of Egypt, but why do I stop there? What do I, what do I say about that? There's your 62 degrees. What does it point to? Something was discovered here in 2008 with Google satellite imagery. Bingo! What is it? Less than a kilometer north of Sudan, 70 miles east from Libya. What is it? The Camille Crater. Wow! The mysterious staircase located in, located in far northeastern Egypt points to the Camille Crater in far southwestern Egypt. Unbelievable! And the crater, interestingly enough, is 88 royal cubits, the length of the Great Pyramid's Grand Gallery. Okay, so there's 88 royal cubits. It's the Grand Gallery. Could be a connection there. All right, meteoric iron. The King Tut dagger made of meteoric iron. This was holy in Egypt. Incredible. 
Ba, I don't know how to pronounce that word, Ba, the Egyptian word for heaven, is the same word used to describe what we now call iron. Look at this. Iron is as precious as gold. It represents heaven. It's heaven. Wow, meteoric iron equals heaven. They also believe that pharaohs were reborn as star gods composed of meteoric iron, because it says in the pyramid text, the king's bones are iron, and the king's members are the imperishable stars. Wow. This is treasure indeed. So if you take that to be a horizontal cross section of Egypt, so up in the north there, you've got the, you know, the mysterious staircase. And in the south, you've got the Camille Crater. All right, so you've got this 26 degree angle because that's the angle of the staircase. It's the slope angle of the Great Pyramid's internal passages. The first ascending passage and the Grand Gallery are at the 26 degrees. Unbelievable. And it's interesting that Robert Temple, a great student of the mysteries of Egypt, says that below the end of any golden angle of 26 degrees rise in an Egyptian structure, there will be treasure. So if you shoot that 26 degree angle and come down to the Camille Crater, that's treasure indeed. That's, you know, that's worth more than gold in ancient Egypt. This is treasure because meteoric iron was more precious than gold and it represented God. Wow. Okay, so you've got this staircase. Well, the first pyramid, the step pyramid, is a staircase to heaven, and the Egyptians viewed it as that. Okay, here's the mysterious staircase. It's a staircase to heaven. All right, the Great Pyramid was anciently called the Ladder of Set. It's a staircase to heaven. This is a major Egyptian idea. So let's look what we have so far. Okay. We've got an obelisk with an iron ben ben. That's the, the, the top of the obelisk. It was meant to arise, Zep Tepe, the, the first time, because the, uh, the, the pyramidal shape, the pyramidian shape at the top of the obelisk was the ben ben. It was associated with the Bennu bird, so resurrection was meant to arise. And of course, the obelisk was meant to arise, even though it was never put up. And at the top of it, the Ben Ben represents Zeptepi, the first time when the primordial mound came out of the primordial waters and it was the shape of a pyramid. Okay, so that's what's associated with the unfinished obelisk. Okay, and then up in the north there in Abu Rash, you've got a staircase going up, pointing to heaven. So you've got these metaphors of resurrection going up, pointing to heaven. And then in the far southwest of the country, we've got Camille, a, made of meteoric iron, the substance of heaven. Okay? So this obelisk points to this. And then this points to the Camille crater. But not only that, yes, the unfinished obelisk also points to the Camille crater. Let's look at that. Okay, so here's a, that Google Earth view. You can see the lines that, that I drew on uh, Google Earth Pro. Uh, and so the unfinished obelisk points to the Camille Crater. You can see the lines, they're lime green. Okay, that's the line right there that points to the Camille Crater. Okay, so to give you kind of a close up, now there's definitely a vertice there. You know, I measured that, there's a change of angle there. And then that is where the main pointing is up to the staircase. But if you see the close-up of that, that's obviously a very distinct place because you've got this unusual indent, okay? So when you connect those two points, this is the line that points to the Camille Crater, a definite vertice through a very definite unusual indent. So yes, the unfinished obelisk also points to the Camille Crater. Wow, so notice this. You've got a Ben Ben pointing to heaven. You've got a staircase pointing to heaven. All right? Ben Ben pointing to heaven. Staircase pointing to heaven. And the Ben Ben pointing to heaven. The meteoric iron. Wow. 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 This incredible triangle covers the bulk of Egypt. This is what I called at the beginning of this presentation the largest mystery from Egyptian sages. Look at that. The logo of Egypt. 
All right, so Robert Grant has shown that all the pyramids in Egypt, when broken down to their triangular properties, so we've got all these pyramids in Egypt, we've got triangles, they create the core musical scale. He shows this intense connection of the 24 note quarter tone scale. You can see on the right all the pyramids, you can see the different ratios of the, the bases, the, the triangle that's formed. Okay, and here's a simplified version. So, you know, there's the music of the spheres is here. The Great Pyramid's the G chord. Abu Rush up north. You've got E, all right? Khafre, it's a D. The Philosopher's Stone, the Satellite Pyramid, Abu Rush. Unbelievable. The music of the spheres. From the Egyptian sages, the logo of Egypt.